Hello, my name is Moises Gonzalez. I'm an assistant professor uh, in the Community Regional Planning Program here at the School of uh, Architecture and Planning at the University of New Mexico. We're partnering with one of our graduate students, uh, Ben uh, Wild. Uh, we're working in this project of the, developing this uh, uh, solar thermal technology to be able to employ uh, in, in, in greenhouses and to extend uh, the growing season basically or ex extend the production within uh, these greenhouses. So we're trying to get to the point, you know, of have a reasonable price where the people will be able to get their produce organic local for a good price so they will be able to feed their family healthier than buying just produce anywhere else that, uh, you know, where, where they're going to be making the big corporations stronger instead of being helping local farmers and not just local farmers but local businesses in general. What I think is exciting about this research is the idea that we can basically uh, come up with affordable ways to uh, employ uh, uh, basically sustainable renewable energy uh, to increase agricultural production. What this allows us to do is then um, uh, it allows communities an opportunity to uh, that are community groups that are involved in community agriculture to actually uh, increase their uh, pr uh, productivity. This could provide uh, economic development potential uh, for these organizations that uh, could basically again increase their production. So if we can make tomatoes grow during the winter time using this system, then we will be able to to do that. You know completely with not just tomatoes but also chilies and some of the crops that don't don't grow during the summertime maybe flowers too so it's more like an experiment and uh, let's see what happens So Moises Gonzalez and I are building a solar thermal panel. The basic idea here is that we want to build a solar thermal panel that is affordable and still effective. The panel is the workhorse of the system. It's what's heating the water, which is going to heat the soil in the greenhouse that we need to sustain uh, agricultural growth during the winter. Most greenhouses, traditional greenhouses, big growers, they'll use large um, heaters, either electrical or, or petroleum based, and basically they just heat entire greenhouses. And that's again a luxury that we don't have. We have to try to figure out a way to be a little bit more efficient. So basically we're in the middle of the installation and the idea is we have two loops. We have water coming in cold, it goes through these copper tubes and then it comes out hot and it's going to come into a tank which is going to be buried underground. It's going to go into a heat exchanger, it's going to come in hot, come out cold, it's going to come back and then it's just going to repeat that cycle over and over again. So in addition to the active system we have the thermal mass. And this is just passive solar that we're using. We're using 55 gallon drums filled with water and then we painted them black. At night, when the ambient temperature around them starts to drop, they let that heat off. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use a, a cover cloth and we're gonna drape it on this side of the barrels and then it's gonna come three feet over and hopefully that heat's gonna get trapped by our cloth and then it's gonna keep us nice and warm at night. So we're gonna have a soil probe and an air probe, temperature probes in the heated space and the same thing in the unheated space. And, and that, those data loggers are gonna collect uh, temperature readings every hour on the hour for the entire winter. <laughs> 